Hi, this is Ali Gang Tan again. So today, a question on stepping come up. So the question is asking me, uh, how is one supposed to step so that one be able to play with the false flow or gooseneck type or uh, soft uh, uh, coupling to the ground? Okay. Uh, this is uh, intermediate level type of uh, development, okay? And uh, what happens is that one must be able to handle the feet ball below four balls before one can get into that, okay? So uh, the key point is here. The key point is, is what I call the XYZ. One need to be able to handle the XYZ, okay? So what I mean by X, X, Y, Z. So at this hip area and the uh, the spine, the, the lower spine area, this X, Y, Z has to be able to handle. If one cannot handle the X, Y, Z, the stepping cannot be done. Okay. So. Uh, as the uh, internal classic, like the Tai Chi classic, it said, walk like a cat. Okay, so uh, if we practice Xiu Ling Ta this way or this way, bending the, uh, the knee, uh, the, the, uh, the, the angle, and so forth, this turn into a rock, it will not become a gooseneck or the hydraulic type. And thus, it can turn into a water tower, like the tripod of the camera, but it will not be able to turn into the catwalk. Okay? Now, if the XYZ can handle properly, a few things will happen right away. First, one feel really lightweight, like one is walking really light. Okay? And uh, it, if one uh, not be able to handle that, then one will feel, oh, the knee is uh, really heavy, it's very heavy, those kinds of stuff. So the first thing is that it will be really heavy, uh, light, if you know how to how to do it. Okay, the XYZ you can handle. The second thing is very important, is your spine. The spine will be automatically straight up. So the spine is uh, the naturally straight up, so the spine is not handled by, like uh, people think that, oh yeah, they need to Think that like a string hanging their head, those kind of stuff. No, as soon as this X Y Z is handled properly, the spine naturally be able to hold itself, and it be be able to very agile and uh, really uh, lively. So this is very different than if you do this in Sri all day long, and you turn that into the rock with the structure or anything or rooting or so forth or thinking how to grab the ground that is the opposite of it and for this one the XYZ if you can manage it the people walk like levitate okay and at every step the feet ball is like the hand we say you know uh, it is a, uh, actually playing the ground to handle your body dynamically so that is the the, the, for the, the static, okay, you want to walk like a, a cat, those kind of stuff. You want to go turning and, and so forth, you become a job, okay? So this is how it is. Uh, it is the second step style. One need to be able to uh, get the low four balls and all this thing, uh, the, the feet balls and the spine position proper, and then uh, you can do that. And when XYZ is proper, uh, full body breathing is come naturally and your internal organs will be able to massage yourself when you're walking and so forth because the spine now is in a long state, na a naturally uh, state. So that is in the Chinese, it's called Xing Gong, walking Gong, okay, walking development, a walking Gong Fu. Uh, that is something people practice, okay, so this is an intermediate level from there. And uh, so if you look at uh, the, 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 the walk or something 
it has to handle the XYZ. And the ancient classic talk about the crotch, the hip, whole bunch of style, Hong Kong, whole bunch of stuff. Um, is that true? Yes, it is true. However, uh, it, it is better to look at this in our way that is XYZ instead of uh, if you talk about hip, you lose the couch, if you talk about couch, you lose the spine. We just talk about XYZ that this part, the XYZ of this part has to be handled. Okay? So that's as equal important of how to handle the people. And then of course, there's another thing here in the shoulder and the shoulder blade. Only when that you look, you can have an agile stuff and you can play it also. Without that, you can't do it. Okay, this is a human body, this is biomechanics. Okay? So again, that's why I propose everybody using the eye disc. Because when you use the eye disc, you can dissolve the issue of standing in the shielding top for too long and so forth. You can dissolve that, at least you're aware of your angle, your feet ball and so forth. So even we don't know what it is, you're aware of it because you say, well, yeah, I have to use it. So my, my body has to be adjust and then aware of it. We, whether we know it or not, we're aware of it. Okay? Like a cat doesn't have to know this, but you walk the way you walk. Okay? So this is uh, the about the, uh, the, 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 the uh, stepping for you. It's an intermediate step. Until one get this, one do not know how to handle it. So it is not just uh, internal, it is not using your mind, your yi, your chi. No, there's a lot of things. And this actually, the step, lead into the momentum. Because momentum handling meaning that I have to have footwork. Footwork meaning that my body has to be like you. If I keep it like that, like a like two stick here, how can I be, have a good footwork to handle the momentum in the very fast way or in the very 